Hello, everyone. This is Down Back Infinity, and this is the weekly wrap up. We're going to be with me today are MC Squared. Hi. Lincoln Window. Hello. And Travis. Lego also Mike. Known, oh. No. Also known as the Taj. Which kind of makes me think of, anyway, uh, and this is Jamie, the user cats. So, uh, I think I'm going to start us off because I remember a while back I was talking about some gameplay footage of a certain game that has now come out. And it actually came out uh, just when we did our last weekly wrap-up, but I, I was more... Uh, prone to talk about Shadows of Mordor because it's kind of a big deal and it's kind of a cool game and a lot of people liked it. However, at that same time, we also had Alien Isolation come out and now that I've had a lot of time to look at the footage, uh, it's people are scared shitless playing this game. It's, mm. it's It can also be funny and fun and stuff, but it's also it's a pretty scary game. Getting yeah, I had, some, the alien. I had some friends uh, who said they, they watched one of their buddies, well, he's my buddy too, play it, and he was, he was fucking terrified. They say he's the biggest bitch with those games anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but still, all the same, and obviously, everyone's looking forward to it after the disaster that was, what was it called, Colonial Marines? Colonial, like, Colonial it Marines. It never happened. <laughs> uh, what's Colonial Marines? That's not... Yeah, exactly. It was <laughs> just... A blemish on the blip of history. Just like the uh, Avatar movie that didn't happen. Yeah, uh, wait. There was, there uh, who was, was it? Like M. That? Night Shyamalan? Anyway. Yeah, uh, it was Mr. Shyamalan. Is there a ding-dong? No, I, don't, I don't hear nothing. Uh, Shyamalan <laughs> ding-dong. The worst director known to man. Who who lucked out with the sixth sense and never followed up with anything. <laughs> no, else. no. Uh, Unbreakable uh, was okay. Yes. Yeah, Unbreakable yeah. was okay. I really like that, that speech at the end by Samuel Jackson. But we are off topic. Let me digress to Alien Isolation. Because if you like the Alien movies... This one is, uh, t- it's officially canon, but it, it uh, deals with uh, Ellen Ripley's daughter. Uh, so if you guys remember who Sigourney Weaver was, she had a kid. And I think this is after she gets frozen for the first time. Anyway. So check it out. <laughs> like, what do you got for us today, this week? Um, okay, I'm sure everyone's heard about the game Evolve. Uh-huh. Um, the beta... Oh. Beta, yeah, there's a uh, means to go sign up for the beta now. Obviously, I, people who I have um, not heard of Evolve. Clue me in. Really? Okay, yeah. it's a multi. It's a multiplayer game where one person is the monster. fucking the monster. Who, as you continue to play, you like you can choose your skills and evolve. So, like, let's say you're like, I want to be fast or I want to be able to fly and shit, and you're against a team of like four people who have to work to take you down. Cool. God, um, it's the video game. <laughs> exactly. Legal oh, ends there. Yeah. Um, yeah, you yeah, can really obviously awesome. pe- people who uh, pre-ordered it have access to the codes first, uh, but you can go on the website and sign up. And I'm gonna we're gonna put a link in there with an actual code because you need to put in a specific code and it's it's multi-use. So I'm gonna give that to uh, Mick here, and he's gonna go ahead and throw that down in the description, Ooh. so you guys can go ahead and sign up. And uh, heck, our podcast people can sign up themselves if they wanna yeah, try we're it all out. Sign up. I'm gonna sign up just cause. <laughs> Why not, right? Why not? Yeah, for sure. And yeah, Evolve's been a pretty pretty hyped game. They've talked. Oh, I mean, Jamie hasn't heard about, but every, the other two have um, talked about it. The style of gameplay where like it's yeah. a lot of shooters run it, but like it just seems like a game designed around it would be really cool. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it, I've seen the seen the trailer. It looked really awesome. They've been showing it at a bunch of conventions, and the game's been getting pretty hyped. I mean, do you know? Do you remember what the model for it or whatever is, Mick? It's like. It, do you do you know what it is? Sorry, the what? It's been going around the not the model the, the oh like payment the, thing. Like you know how for Destiny it's like become legend or something. Oh, that's um, what I mean. Yeah. We're the guardians. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's Video. from uh, for those who don't know Flash gets. Video. Check it out, Flash gets. He's hilarious. You type in Flash gets Destiny, you'll come up with uh, two videos. One of them is wait. Uh, it has them do like be the beast with him or something like that. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Anyway, gonna gonna throw that up. Evolve big game coming out. Check out the beta. We can find out if it's worth its uh, stuff or not, or if the hype will once again be crushed like so many games. Hey, not to say just as bad. No, I mean, you can't be like, listen. In the beginning, <laughs> there was bread. Like <laughs> bread was the invention that that brought humanity forward. You know, it's like fire, sliced bread. And uh, Alien Isolation, or whatever game we're releasing <laughs> right now. 
That's how you build hype, guys. It's like, yo, we're the second coming of Christ in game. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Ready. Uh, All right. Um, but yeah, just not much more to say than check it out. Uh, Mick, what you got going on this week, son? Um, okay. <laughs> I got... No news at all. I'm sorry, folks. I'm just... I'm, no, I'm joking. Moving I on. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Final <laughs> Fantasy XIV uh, producers or whatnot says, yo, remember Rogues and Ninjas? They're coming out. And they give you a little preview of their little... Their MMO is still a thing? How long? Oh. When was XIV released? Uh, last year, August. Wow. And it's been yeah, doing it's, pretty it's, well. It has... Yeah. Uh, it's been doing decently considering, you know, how MMOs have been releasing these days. They have not been, like doing well <laughs> like even yeah, wildstar who had like a huge boost is kind of seeing a bit of a decline right now it's a super saturated market mm-hmm. sure. there's so many games out there so many choices so now you can have your niche and go there i mean um, like i don't know like i think if i was if it, until blizzard pulls out of the game like fuck sorry well, that, i don't I think, think I blizzard's gonna that, pull out the game not, <laughs> they're so good right now. it's too good the golden age, right? The golden age, right now. I'm waiting. I, I, I want to. So, what what distinguishes uh, like XIV from other MMOs? Like, I gotta know. Like, what's the pull? Like, because you're tra- if you're talking to a, a, uh, viewers who are MMO players, which I'm sure we have a few of them, you gotta like be like, yo, XIV is worth checking out because yeah. like. Well, what, uh, what I would say uh, for it now is that in where the business model for World of Warcraft. Um, was let's build a hardcore game and then build everything else around it. And what happened is that they kind of flipped it on its head. And oh, yeah. Totally. Become, it went from being, let's build a hardcore game and then build everything else around it. And then they flipped it and it went from, you know, to like, let's make this game very casual friendly oh, and, like- and, you know, and have everything built around it, like the hardcore and everything else. For XIV... They when they did Realm Reborn, it was let's build the casual audience um, first, like we'll focus on the casual and then build everything else around it. And oh, I see. So from and, the ground up, yeah, you know, from the ground up, it's a casual game. game. So once oh, you get good. in and you have friends who play it, they can help you get to max level. You can play this game by yourself, get to max level very easily, and a whole bunch of your other characters. In fact, you can spend. Much like you spend like seven dollars on the game instead of fifteen because you can build one character and that character mm-hmm. can do everything in the game. It could be any class, oh, be have any possession. Oh, no, sorry, pers- uh, professions, everything. A samurai. <laughs> Is it like <laughs> tactics? No, no, no? okay. No. It, that would actually, be, it actually oh reminds me of like, classes. That's all I'm saying. Yes. Oh, don't, Can you imagine an MMO in kind of the in the way of tactics? Yo, I don't know like, how that would work. But... Uh, be a dancer. So like literally, <sighs> one person call the is to play DDR and it buffs everyone. Like they're just oh, standing oh. there, like playing DDR, and they have to get out of the fire. That's all they do. That's their job. That's their job <laughs> in the raid. They play DDR, and like the better they get at it, the harder it gets, and the better the buffs get. That would be so <laughs> hey, cool, actually. <laughs> that would be my jam. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, Travis. So yeah, I have two bits of news, and and, and I'm guessing this is called the Moby Dick. I, I don't know. It's, it's a, a white whale. It's, it's, it's a it's, it's a big piece. You can say white. It's okay. It's not offensive <laughs> to call it a white whale. I won't it's mind. <laughs> All right. So first bit the whole if you already didn't know like world of warcraft was joining forces with mcdonald's of china and all that stuff and to advertise for drainar world of drainar yeah it, heard so about that. yeah it's nice it's a little like the to it's like to- little little figures in their in their room like i'll, I'll put the post right Yo, if i sit down and i <laughs> and i eat a mcchicken for 10 seconds in world of warcraft how much does it buff my stamina and strength <laughs> uh, maybe by 10 percent i'm not entirely sure Yo, that'd be great yeah there's totally <laughs> like a mcdonald's with like yeah there it is it yeah, has right it's wow. dressed up all crazy it's yeah big, it's a big promotional wow. thing wow i'm sorry ever since i'm Trent... looking it up put some links down guys he did he put a he put a link in there right? for right those now. people for those people who just tech the link we check the video right now when we're talking about it but basically in the front there's like this huge it's like a huge dark gate it's the dark portal yeah yeah in front of the entrance to get into mcdonald's and they have like cool figurines in there of <laughs> uh is uh yeah, the the irony. It's yo, can you imagine sitting down at a bunch of p- ta- like at a table and just being like, "Yo, you're you're the only alliance guy sitting at the table." <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, shit, just a bunch of people surround him. He's like, oh, oh God, no. And they just, like, start beating shake. him up. I don't know. <laughs> Have you ever been by? disappointed in a friend for picking for picking Alliance? <laughs> like, <laughs> that was so... me. <laughs> when I started playing World of Warcraft for a short time and everyone was horrid, I rolled Alliance because I had to be oh, there. Oh, <laughs> Trap, really quick, um... So I know they're they're teaming up to obviously advertise it. So they're just like a mutual thing, like World of Warcraft advertise McDonald's, McDonald's advertise. Like, is there like an in game thing, like McDonald's? Unknown, posted? absolutely <laughs> unknown. Right now, it's just a one way street where world Listen, all World War Warcraft stuff go into McDonald's right now. But huh. that would be that would be really awesome. But the only thing that we see is like at the end there where you have WoW themed McDonald cards to use them, and then you can get into beta. Okay, uh-huh. I gotta know how many Happy Meals do I need to buy. To get that mount, to get that special mount, I gotta know. <laughs> Fucking challenge. Oh, <laughs> that would be uh, incredible. That's probably yeah. what's gonna happen. Maybe it wouldn't be incredible. I actually, like to have that would be really unhealthy. I just want a chicken, and it's got the, the double arches like engraved <laughs> into its side, and I just tie that around Trainor. Super uh, size <laughs> two. World of Warcraft edition. Exactly. What's your other news? <laughs> All right, yeah. a small bit of news. I'm using a small bit too, but um, Kingdom Hearts three is being made with Unreal Engine <laughs> four. Yes. Yeah, I did see that. I was Wait, like, uh, question, uh, guys. Hmm. Whoop. Guess the who owns? Guess who owns the Star Wars industry? Does, does oh yeah, we've been talking Disney. about this for a while now. Yo, yeah. can you put can you put Star Wars into Kingdom Hearts now? Yes, you can, and you can, can put, you can put Marvel funny. shit in there too. If you they, shit. they could, yeah. Kingdom Hearts three exploding dicks everywhere online, like <laughs> Lord knows I already heard a million times. Unreal my Engine. Yeah, Lord knows how many times I heard from my sister. Oh, Phineas and Ferb and Star Wars are having. I don't. I don't care. I don't <laughs> care. Oh, what if? What if? What if? This new Star Wars movie is just... I mean, my hopes are, are very low, but <laughs> what if they blow us all away? What if it's like, oh my god. Wait, but I guess, I, I guess it saves them money and stuff, but like, there's no real like huge limitations to the Unreal Engine, right? I mean, to me, just someone oh, who doesn't know totally. much about it, 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 it worries me. Am I wrong to be concerned? Because like, That's why not still, just... The Unreal it? Engine is extraordinarily flexible, and I think that okay. the, the amount of like... It just... What it means is that it's going to be really cheap to them. I mean, like, yeah. I don't even know if they own the if they own the rights to the Unreal Engine or what you got, or if they have to rent it out from someone. But it's just about like, oh, we already know how to put this on a PlayStation Three. We already know how to put this on a PlayStation Four. Like the Unreal Engine has been used so many times that like its compatibility is like intrinsic to the system, or mm-hmm. or like so much experience there with putting it on that system. Hmm. So, and, uh, yeah. Hmm. One gets, side of me wants to be like, yay, that gives them more time to make it like a good game because they can save on... It, it easier for them, right? Like, they get to yeah, save, save yeah. a lot of that. As long as it doesn't hinder the gameplay because anyway, it's like, we were using Unreal Engine, so like, you know, we didn't have some built from scratch. And maybe I'm overly paranoid, but I'm looking forward to <laughs> My question would be, like, what was the other Kingdom Hearts games made on, right? The engine will... Like, From the open. ground up, just... just yeah, yeah, right? Because that's what they were doing with this one. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, you, you can tell, like, at the... Um, it's for showing... At uh, it was an E3 last year. You're like, okay, this is a completely different engine, and they actually said like, you know, this is an engine we, we, that we built ourselves, and apparently it was in very early stages. But looking at it then was like, wow, I can't wait to play this because like, the graphics was just it was it was new, it was different, it was nothing we've seen before. And um, sure, you you could have opinions based on like what you think it looked like, but regardless, it's nothing you've seen before in terms of gaming. Uh, but that's what. What worries me is it are they going to be able to still reach how it looked at E3? Are they going to pull a Watchdogs? Because oh Square Enix cannot, no. cannot um, sustain a Watchdog situation. Ubisoft can. Square Enix can. Right. I think I think it's I, it's going to be very tough because you have to strike a balance with how much how familiar do you make the game? Because usually when people buy a third incarnation of something, they're usually expecting something that's much akin to it, like it should play the same. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for like, sure. Which might be a, I think that's actually a, a bad thing. I mean, like, if you ask me, like, oh, you know what? Like, maybe it might play a bit the same, but the game should feel completely different. Yeah, that's that would be the sweet spot. But most of the time, they either change too little or they change too much. And I feel I was gonna say, yeah, like I'm all for innovation stuff and I love it, but like there are times that it's like over innovating, doing it for the sake of doing it, yeah. and then like ruining something. 
Uh, yeah. Trying to find out what works and stick with that, and then sort of try and iron out the things that were shortcomings. Like you obviously have a lot of feedback from players nowadays with with the internet. Oh yeah, uh, for sure. They'll let you I... know. <laughs> They'll let you know. 